put together a nice little plan for it. And right. So, so can I just a real fast question? So, and I'm assuming if this is a sales page, you would put your little Amazon banner ad right there. If you were using it for the purpose of selling that camera. Well, let me show you where it's at. We, I would put. I would put. Um, DigitalCameraReviewsBlog.com is one I showed yesterday, right? Right. So you send it back to there, is that what you do? Yeah, I would brand it to send them there. Okay. And then that, that's why we hosted the video after you loaded it up to YouTube. He you took the YouTube video and he came and back to this back. website here got it, got it, and he actually put it on this website. Can you actually put an Amazon link within a video? Can you actually link within a video? Um, there are certain rules, terms of services that Amazon doesn't allow you to do things and one thing they're very particular about is you're not allowed to automatically redirect people to Amazon. They have to take an action that brings them to their website properties. You can't pop up an Amazon property through a pop-up. They may have changed it recently. There's all kinds of things you can't do as an affiliate for Amazon and I believe from last time I reviewed it, something like that, it wouldn't work for one thing. And even if you did it, Amazon might get mad about it. They used to require that I submitted every single website that I put an ad on to them for approval before they'd let me sell Amazon on the website. So they couldn't click the link in the video itself anyhow. So what you want to do is you would put digitalcamerareviewsblog.com in the video, hope that they take action and come over here or click on your link that I showed that was in those pages. You can do stuff like that. You can add, there's a software that does certain things, but not with just a generic YouTube video. So, I don't remember which one this was. So the video's branded. So I put it on my blog. Somebody visit the blog for the video. This, blog, this blog's post will probably, if I wanted to, I could send my guys out. But we don't have to because our software does it and promote this particular blog post and this blog post would rank and then they'd see it and they're surrounded. But if they saw it, they watch the video on any other social networking sites, my link can be there, my branding is in the video, they come to my site and I got Amazon and I've got Google AdSense. So if they click, you've got the Amazon here and then in each post, here's a nice little picture from Amazon. Here's links, we have a plugin that actually creates Amazon Ajax pops. So the keywords that are in the post itself, they get click on this, go to Amazon and get credit if they buy. So it automatically detects things like digital cameras in the verbiage itself, turns them into affiliate links for me on the fly. And then we've got Google AdSense ads at the bottom of each post, individual post. So every page that they touch has some form of monetization in the site for me. So this is the stuff that we gave you, same software and everything. And the, the, what's interesting too on this is, on the home page, my brother hacked this for me, for you guys, for this demonstration, and let's see if it's still on the home page. Man, it's not, of course. But what he did is we got the tool, it's called Affiliate Traffic Machine Pro. We've been using our own business for years. It's a keyword extraction tool, it's a contact extraction tool, it's a data feed extraction tool. We warehouse three or four hundred different data feeds on our service for our clients and for ourselves. And we want to build a website like this, this is all in your training videos. The tool is 149, we've sold as much as 400, I'll give it to you for a buck. It's $20 a month to use, it's my brother's only business venture outside of my salary that I pay him. So. Um, it's actually my tool, my company. So I paid him to create it, and I also share some of the profits with him. So I'll give you the software for a buck. And he's not here, but we actually put a page, a special page up for you guys, so remind me before you leave. But in the videos, we show you how to use it. And it builds these websites. Well, it extracts, it extracts content. So this particular website is powered by Amazon. So right here, if you notice, this is done on autopilot. We show you how to do it in the videos. We didn't have to build this blog. This nice little picture here, this nice little description is hard-coded to my page so the engines find it and index it. And these ratings here, five stars, one stars, we could actually put star ratings there if we wanted to, but it was a little bit extra work and I wanted it ready for you guys before it came. So I said just call it star rating and we'll call it yellow. Well, what this is, is this is an Amazon data feed that we show you how to extract it in the videos. Simple, it takes a couple minutes build this entire blog, it's all on autopilot. 
they let you take the customer review. So does everyone know what a data feed is? Do you want me to explain real quick? Data feed is nothing more than a text document that's structured following a formal structure. So an XML data, have you seen an XML feed, how we showed you that? Remember seeing how it had all those nice little notations in it and stuff? That's so, it doesn't matter what language you speak, you know this computer language, so to speak, know what it says. And that's what a data feed is. A data feed is like an RSS feed, except in the RSS feed, and this isn't technically correct, but in the RSS feed, instead of sending out blog posts, it sends out images, it sends out content, it sends out star review ratings, and it automatically embeds my affiliate link at the bottom here. So if they want to read these reviews here, they click this link, where does it take them? Amazon with my affiliate link. Or if they come over here and they see this picture of a nice picture here, where did that come from? It came from Amazon. And it is the open ad system which controls all the advertising on these sites. And we show you how to do it in your video. It's very simple. Um, I think we needed more. Someone had said that they wanted to, to have us do it live. Well, Anthony actually is doing a video. Did you do a video showing them how to actually set ads into the open ad system specifically and stuff? Yes, yeah, so you already have a video actually. So. But that, you know, and then we can see who's clicking on what. Do we want to keep it Amazon or do we want to change it to AdSense? Or I can go over to CJ.com, drop it in there. But see, everything about this site is geared towards sales. Everywhere you look, it's not over spammy. I think it's a pretty good looking site. I mean, is that a good looking site? It took 30 minutes, including all the content that's going to post for the next two years. We don't have to make a single post if we don't want to. So. And he, did, he was recording a video in 38 minutes, including installing open ad. So and all your people can do it. You can do it yourself. With step by steps already in your training materials that you have in your possession. So. Um, with the new software, is it standalone or is it going in with TKP? It's not a new piece of software. I just never sold it. Okay. I, I have <laughs> sold it, but not on a large scale. Um, it's not a sales pitch. If you want to know what it is, I can tell you, I guess. ATM Pro, what it is, data feeds contain all this content. Affiliate companies at CJ.com, and we talked about CJ, wants CJ to introduce me to the products. And they give a data feed to CJ.com. No, that, that, that wasn't what I meant. I meant with the video software. With the video software that you're I'm providing. trying to get, yeah. Yeah, I, I know. Oh, the from, video software? Yeah, with the video software, is that going to be standalone? Oh, yeah, it'll be standalone. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were talking about the ATM Pro software because that's what we use to extract this information. And it, you can use the keywords, but if you didn't want to build blogs with it, you can still extract this stuff 